Hey everyone, welcome to another paint pouring video. In this video, I started out working on two canvases and then moved down to the one. Um, I started doing that because you really need to let the paint flash in between coats or well, in between switching colors. And I, I just wanted to keep myself productive. However, I ended up redoing both canvases anyways. And I suspect it was because I just wasn't concentrating on the one gradient. Um, so it really didn't make me more productive at all. Um, anyways, so you'll notice that there is a bunch of lines, especially on the larger canvas. It is because both of these canvases are recycled ones of paintings that I didn't really like all that much. And when I was priming the canvases, I actually was really hating the lines on there and I wasn't even sure if I was going to keep the recycled canvas. Like I, I was thought I was really going to have to restretch the whole thing. But when I started spray painting it, I discovered that it, the, the lumps or the leftover lumps on there actually look pretty awesome. Um, I almost kind of left the painting as it was and didn't put a ribbon on it. But I couldn't leave it alone and I had to put a ribbon on um, and a blob. Uh, one more thing about this background. I love it. I think it looks so cool. And I was thinking about it and I think the reason I think that it looks so cool is because um, it's kind of like a built-in vignette. You know that button on your Instagram editing bar? That's like one of my favorite buttons. And I realized that this is just kind of like a real life vignette. Anyways, so I'm doing this color combination again. I think the canvas looks awesome. This blob, I'm still kind of on the fence about. Um, I like doing the blobs just because it kind of gives me like a signature look to my ribbon pores. Um, I think that I could have just done a better job on the blob this time around. Um, and I, as per usual, I covered up the more interesting bits <laughs> with my ribbon. But I mean, the ribbon turned out pretty awesome. Well, I'm on the fence about the ribbon as well. <laughs> I mean, I've discovered that the more uh, little puddles of paint that I put in the ribbon, uh, the finer lines I get. And it turns out I really like having these fine lines in the ribbon. Um, it just shows every movement uh, so much better. Uh, however, my movement this time around, I don't know what happened with it. It's a really interesting shape. I mean... I've sat with this painting for a couple of days now and I haven't decided whether or not I like this shape. Um, part of it is graceful and then the other half of it is not so graceful, but I'm kind of thinking that it's better that the whole shape is not graceful looking. Um, it kind of just, it gives it some personality, I think. Uh, I mean, I'll be interested to know what you guys think about this shape that I'm about to uh, lay down here. Um, but all in all, I think that I'm pretty happy with this painting. Um, I'm definitely super happy with the background. I have another uh, recycled canvas that I'm gonna use and I'm probably going to do the exact same thing. So excited about this new look. And I hope that you enjoyed watching the video. I'm, you still got the close up at the end. I don't know why I'm wrapping it up right now. Um, I guess I could talk about the name. Um, originally, I, I really wanted to associate a phoenix with it or something like that, because it kind of looks like fire and I'm, I'm reviving an old canvas, but I, I didn't end up making a bird shape, uh, which was rather annoying. My whole intent was make, trying to make a bird shape, but it never came about. Um, as nothing ever does when you try and plan these things out. So I decided just to call it Brimstone Dance. Um, and that's about it. 
Hope you liked watching my video. If you did, remember to hit like and make sure that you've subscribed to my channel. Have a great day. Bye.